If you own the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, then today's video is for you because you need to check these out. I picked up these awesome filters for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This pocket is absolutely awesome. It's small, lightweight, super compact, and it takes great videos. There's D-Log M, 10-bit color, I mean, what else can you ask for in such a small package? But in my opinion, if you want to get the best footage possible out of this little camera, then you're going to want to shoot in manual mode. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you do is when you're in video mode, swipe right and hit this pro button right here. Now more options will come up. The first thing you want to do is change your exposure. So I like to shoot in 24 frames per second. So double that. And now I make my shutter speed one over 50. ISO I just keep at the lowest. I always manually set my white balance as well, but that's up to you. I keep glamour effects off because I really don't like the way that looks. And then on color, switch it to D-Log M. And then on the image adjustment, I hit custom, negative two for sharpness, negative one for noise reduction, and I think that looks the best. And the focus mode, you can just switch it, whatever suits your needs for that shot. And that's it. So that brings us to these little filters right here. This is a four pack from a brand called Newer, and I'll make sure I drop a link in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself. But what's great about these filters is that the profile is so small or so low that the gimbal closes with the filter still attached. So right now I'm in bright sunlight and without any filters on this camera, let me show you what the footage would look like. So it's way overexposed, but in order to follow the 180 degree rule, I have to have my shutter speed at one over 50. So now let me put on the filter and show you. So that's it right there. That's with the ND16. It also comes with the ND64, ND256, and then my favorite, the quarter black mist. I always shoot with a black mist filter. I just like the way it looks. And what's great about these filters is right now I have the 16 on. I'll just plop the black mist right over it and they're stackable. So this is footage with the ND16, but let's run through all the filters and I'll show you what the footage would look like. We'll take the 16 off. This is with the ND64. So that's what footage in bright daylight would look like with the ND64. And now let's take the 64 off. And this is with the ND256. So this footage might be a little too dark. I don't generally use the 256, but it's still great that it came with the camera. Let's switch back here. I think this is a great set of filters to have if you own the DJI Pocket 3, and they're a really good deal also. I think I paid $40 for this filter set. What's also great about this filter set is that this case is magnetic. It's kind of satisfying. I recently made a video on my must-have accessories for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And if you'd like to check that video out, I'll put a card up here. I think it's worth a watch. There's some great accessories in there that you may or may not have heard of yet. As always, thank you guys for watching, stopping by, saying hi. I really appreciate you all. And if you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We're coming up on a thousand subscribers. So that means the giveaway is right around the corner. Thank you all so much. I'll catch you on the next one.